We are learning more about one Coastal Bend mother's outrage after a former CCISD bus driver was sentenced to one year in jail after being caught sending inappropriate text messages to her daughter at Caffey Middle School. Three News reporter Simone Simpson shows us that mother's anger and why 60 year old Marlon Frazier received a sentence. It's a travesty, if you ask me, that, that somebody can go and attempt to solicitate a minor, whether they're successful with it or not, and turn around and get away so easily. You know his intent. We know his intent. Everyone knew his intent. Even Judge David Stith's hands were tied with the plea deal of 365 days in jail. I'm going to tell you up at the front, I, I, am, I am not happy about the way the case came down and how this plea bargain is, but after talking with the state, I understand it. Um, doesn't mean I have to like it, though. We received permission from Dietrich to use her daughter's testimony. Listen to how she describes her life, living in fear every day since the incident with Frazier. You took many things from me. You took my innocence. You took my ability to trust others that should be trusted. You took my ability to not live a day in fear. I fear for my life every day because of you. You know? I fear to be in a school bus because of what you did. She goes on to say that she is absolutely disgusted by Frazier, her mother's testimony also echoing this disposition. It profoundly disgusts me, to be honest, having to look at you after reading the messages that you wrote to my then 13, 14 year old daughter. It is sickening to think that people like you walk around getting away with behavior like yours. One would dare to say that this is probably not the first time you've done this, nor will it be unfortunately the last. Dietrich is calling for stricter background checks on employees within school districts, especially because parents leave their children in the care of schools while at work. If you want a little bit more peace of mind and security, you need, you need to work at it. So more questions need to be asked, more things need to be looked at before hiring these people to transport our children or even work around our children. Dietrich believes any person who attempts such behavior needs to be punished with no less than a felony and be forced to register on a sex offenders list. If someone doesn't put a stop to this, how many more times is this going to happen before something worse happens? Laws need to change. It needs to change. And if there are any additional developments to the story, we will let you know.